All right, hello there and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth McCoy, your host, and today I've got a very special vehicle, a 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 5N. N is, as you know, is their performance brand within the Hyundai group. And of course, I wanna thank Hyundai Canada for allowing me the use of this press vehicle. It's really early into the press fleet. And man, have I had a fun week of driving this thing around. That's what I can say, it's fun, fun, fun. So thank you again, uh, Hyundai, for allowing me the use of this vehicle. Sit back, relax, let me tell you about this car and why it's a fun, fun, fun EV. Now, one thing that is, I guess, unique on this vehicle, I'm trying to think how to start this video, really, because this has been such a unique electric vehicle, probably one of the most unique that I've driven so far in my career of doing this YouTube channel. And I say that because they've really brought a fun factor back to driving EVs. Now we all know that electric vehicles have instant torque, instant horsepower, and they go really, really fast, right? We all know that. Um, so that's not what this car is all about. It's not just about the speed and horsepower and torque that this vehicle delivers. What Hyundai is, has done with this vehicle is through software trickery or magic, is allowed a driver to feel that connection to the vehicle. A lot of drivers want that personal connection to their vehicle to be able to feel, to hear, experience sensations that that vehicle provides to them in a driving experience. That's why people buy Honda Civic Type Rs, Toyota Supras, um, you know, all the, the luxury brands, the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, all this kind of stuff not necessarily just to, for show cars and for looks, but there's an element of driver connectivity to the vehicle that through instrumentation and pedal and controls and all this kind of stuff, the driver can really dial in a vehicle and be connected to it and uh, manipulate that vehicle in a lot of manual ways. So it's not just all software and uh, automatic you know, stuff happening there. So if they really want to get connected, and I can say without a shadow of a doubt that Hyundai has nailed it with the Ionic 5N. If that's the experience you're looking for, you're going to get this in spades in this vehicle. They have been able to deliver an exciting experience um, for drivers. And again, I'll go through the specs, I'll go through you know, some video and stuff like that. You'll be able to see the car that kind of stuff. Now, I have not had an opportunity to track this vehicle this week. It's already been tracked a couple of times so far. Um, it's only got under about 2,000 kilometers, so it's really brand new. One of the first ones here in, in Canada that, I, that uh, we've been allowed to, to play with. Um, and as I, as I said, it's just been a really fun, fun vehicle and an exciting vehicle to drive. It takes me back to the days when I had manual drive vehicles, stick shift vehicles, I used to be in the tuning. I used to be a bit into the import car scene, all this kind of stuff. I go back to the big V8s. So I'm a car guy at heart, even though I'm 100% I'm into electrification, but I get it. And I get why Hyundai has delivered this vehicle to a very niche market. You know, this isn't going to sell hundreds of thousands. You know, I think the allocation for Canada might be just a few hundred for 2024 and 20, into 2025. So that's what um, Hyundai is planning for this field. It's going to be, you know, going after people that want that sensation, but still want to have all the benefits of an all-electric vehicle, of a world-class all-electric vehicle, right? The Ionic 5 has won multiple awards in 2023, 2022, when it came out, Car of the Year, all over the place, you know, both in North America and abroad. It really is a fantastic vehicle. I see a lot of Ionic 5s on the road and very happy owners with them but this just takes it up a notch to deliver that co connection for the driver for the vehicle. Looking at the interior of the Hyundai Ioniq 5N, it's really driver-centric and designed for being racetrack ready. It's all about style, function, control, and really importantly, comfortable. It actually is. The design features are motorsport-like and they provide functions both for just driving around and for the racetrack. You get a nice black and suede leatherette with some blue accents, heated front and uh, ventilated front seats. Um, I really, really enjoyed the N Sport bucket front seats with illuminated N logo, which is pretty cool at night, but they are super comfortable and very, very nice. 
Um, you've got a perforated leatherette wrap steering wheel, so a whole new steering wheel for the Onyx 5. Paddle shifters, of course, with the NE shift or the end brake regen modes. You can play around with all that. The interior trim finishes are in this dark liquid metallic, which really looks super nice, and you get aluminum pedals. Uh, and the second row uh, has sliding seats with reclining seat back, so you can actually get more room, or if you need a little bit more rear space in the cargo, you can move the seats up, and you can recline these. And uh, I, I took a long, long trip with four of us in the car, and they were all very comfortable in this interior, which again, is designed for drivers. It's really, really nice. I love the different dash displays that you can show. Here is the end mode type of display where it shows you temperatures for the motors and the battery temperatures. Lots of different gauges that you can bring up here. Really, really cool. Then you have your end mode display, of course, all the different settings that you can do from torque distribution to different pedal and regen capabilities, drifting modes, torque distribution. Uh, battery modes to precondition for track, all kinds of stuff. And then you can create custom modes, a couple of different custom modes based to uh, e-tune the suspension, the motors, outputs, um, the steering controls, all kinds of stuff. Launch control, boy, you'll never get bored in this vehicle. When we look at the performance specs, it's easy to forget that this is a fully electric vehicle. It comes with a powertrain that uses a dual motor all-wheel drive setup to deliver 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration in 3.4 seconds with a top speed of 260 km per hour. These electric motors deliver a speedy and exciting 601 horsepower. When you select N-Grin Boost Mode, which is that orange button, that makes the most out of that power which gives maximum acceleration increasing the horsepower from 601 to 641 for 10 second sprints. However, for normal everyday driving, the Ionic 5 comes with drive modes specifically tuned for different concepts. Eco gives you the maximum driving range, EPA rated of 356 kilometers, 221 miles. I actually saw over 450 kilometers one day in my driving uh, experience for the week. Now, normal mode delivers a comfortable and refined ride, Sport is nimble and responsive. N is aggressive and precise. And you could also have your own custom drive mode that fits your drive style. The large size disc brakes greatly enhance braking safety through increased heat capacity and improved performance degradation. And the N brake regen system also helps maximize brake performance with up to 0.6 Gs of brake force while on the track. Then there is the N E shift which simulates the gear shifts of an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission. You can also maximize the fun with the N Drift Optimizer, which helps maintain the drift angle and speed, and style and precision. And for customizable crackles and race car pops, N Active Sound Plus is a synthesized sound equalizer that allows you to simulate the sound of the exhaust. Torque is actively distributed between the left and right rear wheels, enhancing traction thanks to the electronic limited slip differential. While the electronic control suspension uses high performance geometry settings to increase cornering response. And all this power comes from an 84 kilowatt hour lithium ion high voltage battery that supports charging speeds of up to 238 kilowatts when connected to a DC fast charger that is 350 kilowatt capable. And of course, in Hyundai fashion, charge times of 10 to 80% can be achieved in 18 minutes. And all this is managed by a sophisticated heat pump, a battery thermal management system, and a preconditioning system. So the heart of the Ionic 5N is really the driving experience. Um, Yes, it looks like a sports car, has all kinds of features, but it's not until you drive it that you really understand what Hyundai is trying to do here. Um, as I mentioned, you know, they're really trying to offer an all-electric, very capable vehicle, but in a sense where the driver can be very much connected to that vehicle. That's really what the essence of the Ionic 5N is. As an everyday all-electric vehicle to haul family around, to do groceries, to do errands, all that kind of stuff, it's just like a, the Onyx 5 that we know and love and that has won lots of awards. Slap an N badge and do what they've done to this vehicle and it 
really changes the whole experience into something quite unique. Right now I'm in just standard. Um, uh, in fact, if I go into eco mode, eco mode, it's quiet, comfortable, about 380 kilometers of range or so. It keeps creeping up on me throughout this week. So capable um, for an everyday driver with all the, the features and the benefits that you get from the Ionic 5. Quiet, these have 21 inch wide 275 tires on these, low profile. So a little bit more tire noise that you would get on a regular Ionic 5, um, but they're still uh, tires made for EVs, so they have better rolling efficiency, uh, a little bit more quietness, but very sticky. These are summer tires because this vehicle has been tracked. I'm not tracking it, um, but it has been tracked already a couple of times in the couple of weeks that it's been available. So it's, it's outfitted for that type of purpose, but I've just been driving regular, doing my errands, and it's been fantastic. Just back and forth to work, all that kind of stuff. Went to out of town yesterday, did a couple hundred kilometers, quiet, smooth, no issues. People in the car, uh, everything was perfect. So that's the normal side of this, kind of like a Jekyll and Hyde vehicle, I would say, but in a really good way. And that's exactly, again, what Hyundai is trying to do is to bring that sense of connectivity for people that want to drive and have that experience of driving, have the experience of the sound of an engine and the shifting like in a manual or paddle shifting type of environment or Triptronic as, as we know. Um, the ability for the car to change the dynamics of the suspension and the setup on the fly electronically through software and change the handling characteristics and dynamics of the vehicle. This thing corners like it's on rails, handles extremely well, yet it's still comfortable for everyday normal driving. It's It's got that kind, kind of uh, a feature set to it. So very, very capable vehicle. So drivers that want that connectivity, you know, drivers that would buy a Honda Civic Type R, um, a Toyota Supra S, um, these kind of cars that you that want to drive. I mean, I wouldn't put this into Ferrari or any of that kind of class, but you know, with, with 600 plus horsepower and tons of torque, this is an extremely capable vehicle, extremely capable. And at a price point, um, at a half of, uh, or a quarter of what those luxury brands are going to be. It really is a good value if you want that kind of experience. So that's what this vehicle offers, that connectivity for the driver, right? The ability to have sound, to listen and shift and drive the vehicle, to feel connected, to have that control sense. A lot of people say EVs are boring, you know, they're quiet. Yes, they have instant torque and horsepower, okay, but you can't really utilize that. Some people want more out of that driving experience. and. That's exactly what um, Hyundai has achieved with the, uh, the end version of this all, their all-electric platform here, and a very, very good version of that. So before I kind of switch it from Jekyll to Mr. Hyde mode, I just want to emphasize that as an everyday, all-purpose vehicle, this is, does not have a harsh ride. Um, it's not like some of the Porsches. Oh, I have Mr. Skunk going by. Make sure I stay away from him. Um, some of the older Porsches, which are more, which are for, for tracking, obviously, but have rougher rides for everyday use. This is extremely capable. It's not going to float like a Lincoln or a Cadillac, but it's going to offer a very competent ride, even with people. We had several people in the car, uh, full car yesterday, driving around. So very, very uh, capable vehicle from that standpoint. The beauty of this car is you can go from civil to beast, <laughs> in air quotes, with just a couple pushes of the button. And... That's really where the, the fun starts in this vehicle. Um, and you can on and off this as much as you want. And I've been buzzing around with that, even though I, I always talk about how quiet EVs are and I really enjoy them being so quiet. I have to admit, it's been very fun to drive this in end mode settings in a manual type of environment. And the trickery that um, Ionic, uh, that the Hyundai team has done, the engineering and software development team in combination with all the hardware components and stuff, and there's Mr. Skunk again, I'm gonna go buy him, um, has been just outstanding what they've been able to achieve with this. So, a couple buttons. Uh, I forget what this is programmed to. I'm going to do that and then that. All right, so now, all of a sudden you hear, hopefully the noise is picking up. And I have this set for one of the end mode settings. Right now, uh, so what it does is it adds sound element, first of all, which you can hear. It's automatic mode, so it's, it 
it gives you the sensation of shifting and it's in an automatic so it's doing it by itself I'm not manually shifting right now um, I will switch that over but now you've got a rev counter I've got the HUD which shows the revs and the gears and it feels and sounds like an ice vehicle that you'd be shifting with paddles it actually has a bit of a you know not a jerkiness but just a bit of a shift change you know when that that the the, the gears do change you get that that sense and you know it it has this rpm it shows you on the dash that you are you know, what your rpms are at and all this kind of stuff so it really gives you the sensation that you're driving an internal combustion vehicle but this is all electric so it's it's quite a, a completely different environment for an all electric to be able to emulate these type of sensations sound feel sight handling all kinds of different sensations that you get in this and you know one thing I like about it as well is that I can take it off of this auto mode and just you know hit a paddle shifter and now I'm controlling the transmission myself with the paddle so if I want to downshift do that if I want to downshift again do that again if I want to get going And it will limit you. It will, it will uh, say, I can't put you in gear because you're going too fast. It will emulate exactly like an internal combustion engine would, which would redline or flatline at a certain RPM. It's quite the, the experience and the sensation to achieve that. And um, it's really hard to probably explain and, and show you without you being in, in this vehicle to actually experience for yourself. But it truly is a remarkable experience that this is all done by software. You know, to summarize, um, again, this is such a unique experience that it's really hard to, to not have fun in this. Uh, just open it up, and you know, and you're, you're doing, going fast within a couple of seconds. And you, you hear that backfire, you know, when you, when you downshift, blah, 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 all that stuff. It can get annoying if you don't like it, and you can change the sounds. There are some other sounds that sound like a spaceship and a rocket ship or an aircraft. I don't really like these sounds. Yes, it's emulated. You can tell that even this typical engine noise is, you know, revving uh, like a four-cylinder engine revving up high is simulated, but they do it really well. And the sound conjunction in Titan with the feel, the handling, all the sensations, the nice snug seats that you get in these sport buckets that hold you in, it's quite the, quite the sensation that really puts a smile on your face. But always safety first, folks. Don't go crazy on public roads, so I'm trying to keep it down here. So I'm going to go back into my normal EV mode. Press of a button, just like that. I'm back in eco mode here. No sound. 100% still EV. No gearing. Just your, you, the stuff that we're used to. And my goodness, to be able to do that at the push of a button is quite the achievement. Just wanted to highlight again on that interior that it's a very comfortable interior. Those sport bucket seats are extremely form-fitting and hold you very nice. There's lots of room for passengers, easily four people, five, no problem. Again, the Onyx 5 has a great platform for carrying passengers and stuff and cargo, and that's what it's all about. It still has great cargo capacity with the rear seats up of 740 liters. Um, which is a lot of room to put stuff in and uh, you know we went to the beach and took a whole bunch of stuff with it and then you put those seats down if you need the extra room and you get 1680 liters of cargo capacity which is quite a lot for a vehicle of this size and allows you to do a lot of things. So to recap the Ionic 5N is, is Hyundai's first high performance N brand battery electric vehicle elevating their benchmarks for the three end performance pillars of corner rascal, racetrack capable, and everyday sports car. The vehicle is based on an award-winning Hyundai eGMP platform, providing the perfect basis for the most powerful Hyundai production vehicle ever. The Onyx 5N represents the N brand's electrification vision and a fresh opportunity for performance enthusiasts to satisfy their driving passion on the road and track. Designed with motorsport DNA, the Onyx 5N meets and presents a strong and aggressive image, maximizing the high performance N brand. It has dynamic and unique N design elements, such as reduced ground clearance for a lower center of gravity applied to improve both form and function. Finally, with all of the platform improvements, the brakes are top of mind. 
Stopping power comes from up front with four piston calipers and single piston sliding calipers in the rear. Electronically controlled gas strut suspension provides tuning abilities for different rides. And the blending between regenerative and mechanical braking is smooth and the system hauled the 4,684 pound Hyundai to a stop from 96 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour in 123 feet. When we look at the pricing of the Ionic 5N, its base MSRP is $78,199 Canadian. The only option on this was a matte paint option, which is $1,000 more. Quite a pretty uh, comparable price for what you get in a performance vehicle. When you look at other vehicles out there that will offer these kinds of performance specs, I think the Ionic 5 is priced really aggressively and will appeal to many. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on this fantastic all-electric vehicle, again, from Hyundai. They just continue to knock it out of the park over and over again. The South Koreans, boy, I tell you, they really know what they're doing when it comes to electrification. And this is just a fantastic product. Yeah, it's a halo car, right? We all know that. But even at the price point that I mentioned, that's pretty good compared to what else is out there. If you want that kind of power, the ability to track and the performance characteristics of this vehicle and the handling, you're gonna pay a lot more money for other vehicles that would do a similar function as this. You know, this is a very capable, competent vehicle for tracking, for doing those kinds of things. And just for going to the store, uh, driving it in regular EV mode, taking the kids to, the, to soccer practice, whatever the case is, it'll do all that as well. So it really is a, a Jekyll and Hyde vehicle, as I mentioned there because it is quick and I tell you, it's a head turner. This whole week I've been driving it, I get nothing but people walking up to me, loving the color, loving the looks, asking questions about this vehicle. They can't believe that this is an all electric when I tell them that. It's been mind blowing. I've talked to a couple dozen people already this week, just going through coffee shops, whatever, doing my, my normal out and about stuff. So hats off again, the styling, everything just hits a home run on this vehicle. Congratulations, Hyundai, again, for another very successful vehicle, and I can't wait for more.